virtual celebration for the new center began with the traditional song and dance, an opening prayer, and of course, speeches. Jeffrey Schiffer says the Mount Dennis Aboriginal Child and Family Center will provide services in a neighborhood that hasn't been culturally reflective for the indigenous population. These centers really address the intergenerational impacts of colonization. There has been so much discussion right now about residential schooling and child welfare and the way that community members continue to be impacted by that legacy. Um, we need culturally grounded supports and education for our young ones so that they grow up connected to their culture, uh, even when they're in Canada's largest urban centre, and that's really what these centres provide. Mayor John Tory joined in the opening event. He said it's the result of two and a half years of collaboration with the city and community partners. This happy day comes at a very difficult time for Indigenous communities in Toronto and across Turtle Island following the, the horrific uh, discovery that Jeffrey made reference to earlier in Kamloops. And of course, that was a discovery that really followed on uh, many years of, of history. Uh, but it, maybe the discovery in Kamloops has brought us face to face in a way like never before uh, with this tragedy and with the ongoing trauma that it has represented for a long time for very many people. All of us as elected officials and community partners are committed to better supporting uh, indigenous communities and ensuring that they're at the table with us, bringing forward ideas and making them happen like is happening here today. This is the second cultural center that Native Child and Family Services has opened in the city. Rita Red Sky Hamlin is a supervisor for the new center. She says there's something for everyone. There isn't too much in the West End. Um, so originally Native Child had a Kiwednong Aboriginal Head Start and um, that is probably one of the only services that we offered in the West End. So now we're gonna be offering this multi-service uh, space where we can service seniors, youth, uh, and the early years all in one place. According to Schiffer, throughout the summer, programs will continue to be offered virtually and in the outdoor space. Annette Francis, OPTN National News, Toronto.